15% of U.S. seniors have internet access, and 69% of those go online every day. The fastest growing senior group on the net, women over 65. Our Seattle Bureau Chief Matt Markovich found a very senior senior who could teach all of us a thing or two. Betty's bidding two no Trump, now three no Trump. If you want to find Betty Strandberg, I'm going to pass. just check her bedroom. I'm an online bridge player. She's on the net. I hope to get a more exciting hand than this sometime. Chatting. Hi, Wendy and Grant. Hope to have a good game. And playing bridge. So you're meeting people all over the oh, world. Oh, yes, yes. I played one time when I had people in four different co continents. And she's gone broadband with a cable modem. It's been a little tough on my husband, I think, because I've had to upgrade in speed several times. She can do anything that uh, strikes her fancy. It froze up. She blames her crashes on Bill Gates. Control, Alt, Delete. Oh, did I mention how old she is? She's a lot younger than you. Well, everybody is. When you're 90, there isn't anybody older. <laughs> Nine, oh, that's a pretty number, big number, isn't it? Yeah. Left click on the computer folder. And every week, she takes a computer class through SeniorNet, a national organization geared to teaching the 50-plus crowd about computers. And I'm taking a class in writing your history, of which I've had a lot. Learning word to write about surviving the attack on Pearl Harbor. We went up to the front garden and saw a plane flying over with a large orange circle on it. Betty's fantastic. It's so great to be able to have somebody that age that's that alert and is willing to learn. And that's Betty's secret. <laughs> Never be afraid to embrace new technology. I have friends, not as old as I am, nobody is, but friends that are within a few years of me who say, oh, they don't want to bother about learning. That's going to be too, take too time consuming and all. I can't understand it. I got my first computer when I was 83. And still hoping for a computer that never crashes. Whose fault is it? Bill Gates. In Seattle, Matt Markovich, Tech TV.